270 million. 270 million. 270 million of anything is a lot, right? Well, when we are talking about guns, according to listverse.com of fall 2015, there are approximately 270 million guns out there owned by United States civilians. That is almost half of the guns in the entire world, just in the United States. CNN.com of fall 2015 quotes that the guns and quotes that the death rate in America is only increasing due to guns. And that is why I'm here today to tell you we need to control the amount of and the certain types of guns sold in the U.S. We need more gun control to lessen the ability to access guns easily and to help the death rate in America from increasing. First, I'm going to be going over in detail the problems of guns due to a lack of gun control. Second, I'm going to give you solutions to those problems. And lastly, I will show you what we can do to prevent gun violence in America. Moving forward into my first problem about how guns are easily accessible. For my first example, the black market. For those who don't know what the black market is, it's essentially illegal trading online or in the streets. Anyone qualifies to use the black market, and that's why it can be very easy for someone to get around the laws that were put into place to prevent stolen and unregistered guns. Another example of guns being accessible is that most parents now have guns, and that can mean easy access for their children. For instance, nytimes.com of fall 2015 says in Newtown, Connecticut, Adam Lanza struggled with a developmental disorder. And while his mom owned, uh, while his mom owned guns legally, he got a hold of her 22 caliber assault rifle and her Bushmaster XM15 rifle. With these guns, Adam killed his mom, and he also went to Sandy Hook Elementary School and killed 20 first and second graders, six adults, and then killed himself. Although this topic is very controversial, people do not need guns that can fire off a metric tons of rounds quickly. They plainly just want them. Going into my second problem, how guns attract death and enable mass shootings. Everytownresearch.org, a fall 2015, said that states that there's an average of 12,000 gun homicides and 78,815 non-fatal gun injuries per year in the U.S. That is a lot of deaths and injuries, all from guns. Whether it's mass shootings or shootings in general, it all leads to the same result. Someone dies or gets injured. According to CBSnews.com of 2017, the Las Vegas shooting is the largest mass shooting in modern U.S. history. The shooter's name was Stephen Paddock. He legally accumulated 33 guns in the span of 12 months. And because of the available gun accessories out there in America, Stephen was able to modify his guns into almost fully automatic assault weapons by using a bump stock. A bump stock connects to the back of the gun, making it automatic by pulling the trigger once, and by using the recoil of the gun to keep firing. CBSnews.com of 2017 says that because of the modifications he made to his guns, they were able to fire as many as nine rounds per second. He killed 58 people and left over 500 dead. This information shows that not only Steven, but anyone can go online, purchase a bump stop, and turn their gun into an automatic weapon. And on top of that, they are able to buy as many guns as they want. Now I'm going to go over some solutions to points A and B. In America, uh, one solution to guns being overly accessible in America is the president should sign laws that restrict the ability to have guns around kids and mental illness people. The government should be aware of families living with someone with mental illness that could lead to possible violence in their home. Perhaps it would be best not to allow semi-automatic weapons in those kinds of homes. I'm sure Adam Lanza's mom would agree. In addition to that, require all gun owners to show proof that they can properly store their guns safely. Also, a solution to the black market is the police should invest more time in catching people that sell guns illegally and destroy any lost guns that are found. Destroying guns is important so the guns don't go back out and get in the hands of the wrong people. My next solution to guns being turned into automatic weapons, which causes 
deaths in mass shootings, Congress should reenact the assault weapon ban and limit the types of accessories that can turn guns into automatic assault weapons. Finally, here is what we can do to stop guns from being easily accessible. First, we can sign a petition that gun owners must show that they are safely storing their guns correctly. Then we can deliver it to our state officials in hopes they require gun owners to do this by state law. Next, we can all vote for politicians that will work to enact gun protection laws that are within the Second Amendment of the Constitution. Lastly, we can protest to bring back the, uh, the assault weapon ban of bring back the assault weapon ban and vote that gun accessories should be illegal. In conclusion, we need better gun laws to counteract the guns that are easily accessible. Gun control will reduce the death rate in America by controlling the amount of and the certain types of guns sold in the U.S. Remember how I mentioned how many guns are in America? 270 million. We can decrease that number by voting and signing petitions that can enforce stricter and safer laws. And we can work together to make the U.S. a safer place for everyone. Thank you. Thank you.